So I was working with log buildings for my dissertation. Um, tree ring dating of log buildings has been a hobby of mine for years. And when I came to WVU, I knew that I wanted my research to be focused on forest ecology, but also somehow related to the dating of historic log buildings and the history that we have here in the Appalachian region. It was a really fun opportunity to talk to local communities about tree ring dating of buildings. Uh, and for a lot of people, they didn't realize that that was an option. So there are other ways in which you can date log buildings, uh, perhaps through looking at the nail types that are in those buildings or architectural designs, but none of those ways are as precise as tree ring dating. And so to be able to share that with community members and show them that there was another option for them because there are so many people in this state that have log buildings and they want to know when was this built? Which one of my ancestors constructed this building? So tree ring dating really locks in that crucial piece of evidence for them so that they can understand their history better. I just think it's really amazing uh, how, in Kristen's case, um, the like a hobby turned into a whole career, and then th this passion for this particular topic, dating these buildings, led to almost an accidental discovery, I think. Um, and so it's an exciting way to see how science works. It's not always like a straight line. Um, and so for students who are getting interested in the sciences, it's just so open. There's just so many directions you can go and um, applying sciences to history is a new thing. And so this is really a an exciting area of work.